Kirchhoff's rules. Here's an example circuit with three resistors and two batteries. And first we will identify the nodes or junctions of this circuit. So we have four nodes or places where components are connected electrically. Notice that two are shaded green and the other two are unshaded. The shaded nodes have three or more connections, in our case three, and the unshaded nodes uh, have only two connections, so they're part of a series connection. So now let's put in our branch current variables. Uh, we only need three branch currents instead of, you would have thought, five, because there are three resistors and two batteries, that's five branches. But again, the unshaded nodes are part of a series connection. So for example, the current I1 through E1 is also the current through R1. So there's no need for two separate variables there. So we just have the three branch current variables. So to summarize, we have four nodes, two unshaded, two shaded. And we learned that the number of shaded nodes minus one, in our case one, uh, that is the number of junction rule equations that we will write. Uh, for branches, we're, going, we're not really going to analyze uh, trees and cords at this time, because for planar networks, that is networks that can be drawn in a plane, uh, we really just have to count the number of small loops, which for us was two. So here's our circuit, and in our case, we have values for R1, 2, 3, and the batteries E1, E2. Uh, so when we write our junction rule equation, taking the top green junction or node, we have I1 and I2 entering minus I3 leaving, that equals zero. So that's the junction rule. The sum of the currents entering a node equals zero. For the loop rule, we have the loop on the left and on the right. And for the loop rule, we look at the sum of voltage changes going around the loop, uh, setting it equal to zero. Uh, if you do that and rearrange terms, you'll get then equations two and three. Now, the idea of using a spreadsheet to solve these equations is I, I have columns here for I123, and RHS just stands for the right-hand side. So I've just put the coefficients of the variables I123 uh, in the appropriate cells, and along with the right-hand side, uh, you'll see I've summarized equations 1, 2, and 3 without writing all the variables over and over. So to work in Excel, uh, first we'll uh, look at how we normally enter functions. Like here I'm at cell D6 and I'm saying equals D2, right? And then um, I could copy that cell and paste it down, and you'll see the formula uh, ended up copying the three values above. So you'll see equals D2 in the formula bar, uh, D3, and D4 in cell D8, right? So I've uh, each cell has its own formula. Let's delete that, and let's look at how to array enter that kind of a formula. So we highlight the destination, then go up to the formula bar and say equals, and highlight all three cells that I want to copy, and then control shift enter. But that puts curly braces around the formula, so each cell, actually, the formula is the same. It's an array formula that applies to all three cells. Now, we'll need that uh, to handle matrices. So here in this uh, range, I'm going to uh, equal the matrix inverse, or M inverse, of the array of coefficients of the I123. Again, Control-Shift-Enter, Control-Shift-Enter. I get the curly braces. And that's now the inverse of that coefficient of, uh, of the uh, matrix of coefficients of I123. Now it turns out that that inverse matrix multiplied by the right-hand side will give us our answer. So now in, uh, I'll highlight here a range where I'll put the result, which will be the matrix multiplication, M mult, of our inverse matrix we generated before, times by the right-hand side matrix, 
Again, control shift enter. I'm done. I have just solved three equations and three unknowns with uh, the method of matrices. Just to get fancy, I'll also look at the transpose function. So I will transpose the, uh, the headings I123 in row one, and I'll just make them appear as a column. That transposes the interchange rows and columns. So control shift enter. And bingo, there I go. I have now my, I'm highlighting my answers to the equations.